Okay, in this example, we want to find a least square solution of ax equals to b, where a is given the uh, given the three by two matrix and b is given the vector there. Okay. All right. So. All right. So this we can tell that this solution, right, is I mean, b is definitely not in the column space of a. Okay, we can verify that uh, because if we, we can't even try because because we know that a is it's not a square matrix. Okay, so the only way we can solve this is to do a least square solution, and so in the box here is, are the normal equations, and those are derived in another video. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, just uh, find a transpose times a. Okay, so. Okay, so A transpose will give us 4, 0, 0, 2, and then 1, 1. And then we're going to multiply this by 4, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1. Okay, which is A. Okay, so this is going to give us a, a 2 by 2. Okay. So we're going to get 4 times 4, 16, plus 1, so that gives us 17. And then we have 4 times 0, uh, that's 0 plus 0 plus 1. And then we're going to get, let's see, 0 plus 0 plus 2, or plus, I'm oh, sorry, 1. And then 0, 4, and 1. So it's going to give us 5 here. Okay, so now we have to compute a transpose B. So the 4, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, okay, times B, 2, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so this is going to give us a 2 by 1. So we have 8, so 4 times 2 is 8, plus 11. So it's going to give us 19. And then we have 0 plus 0, and then plus uh, 11. Okay. Okay, so now our system, right? Okay, so we have A transpose A, okay, which is here. Okay, and then we have A transpose times B, which is here. Okay, so we have okay, uh, 17, 1, 1, and 5. Times x hat equals to 19, 11. Okay. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, uh, we can solve this by taking the transpose Okay, of this matrix here. Okay, so A transpose A inverse. Okay, so we're going to take the inverse of 17, 1, 1, and 5. Okay, so that's going to be 1 over the determinant of this matrix is 84. Okay, and then we're going to multiply this by the matrix 5, negative 1, negative 1, and 17. Okay. All right. So we're going to take this and we'll multiply it by our vector 1911. Okay. So x hat will be equal to 1 over 84 times 5, negative 1, negative 1, 17, and then times this vector. So this is going to give us, okay. Uh, one the vector one two okay all right so that is our least squares solution so now let's calculate the least squares error okay okay
Okay, so the least squares error is going to be, right, it's the, the distance between b, between the vector b and ax hat. So we're going to take the norm, okay, the length of this vector, which is the, which is the norm, okay. All right. So that is, so if you recall, if you remember from the previous videos, this is the z component. So this is, right, so this is in the orthogonal complement of the uh, column space of A, okay? All right, so now, okay, so we have, so B was, CB was 2011. Or 2011. Okay, minus. So A was 400211 times X, which is 1, 2. Okay. All right, so this, okay, this is going to give us, we have 2, 0, 1, 1, minus, okay, so we're going to get, let's see, 4, okay, and then 4, and then 3, okay, all right, so then uh, we have minus two, negative four, and let's see, nine, okay. Oh, sorry, not nine. This is eight, sorry. Oops. Okay. All right, let's see. Just double check everything here. So if, okay. Okay, so now, so now we have the vector, we have the difference of B and AX. So we're just gonna take the Right, we need to calculate the length of that, okay? Okay, so to get the length, you just basically, the length of the vector is just squaring the components. Okay, and then taking the square root. So we're gonna have minus two squared Plus negative four squared, okay. Plus eight squared, okay. And then we take the square root. So this is, uh, so this is what's called the Euclidean norm, okay. All right. So let's do a calculation here. So just, so we have. Okay, so yeah, so we get a uh, square root of, yeah, so this is going to be 84, and then the square root of that, this is going to be approximately 9 point, let's round it to two decimal places, so 9.17. Okay, so that is the least squares error, okay, that's the minimum. Okay, that's the that's the smallest error we can get because of the orthogonal decomposition theorem. Okay. All right. So.